Now we present Herbert Marshall as The Man Called X, the Friday night feature on NBC's five-show festival of comedy, music, mystery, and drama. Brought to you by RCA Victor, world leader in radio, first in recorded music, first in television. By Chesterfield, always milder, better tasting, cooler smoking, plus no unpleasant aftertaste. And by the makers of Anison for fast relief from pain of headache, neuritis, neuralgia. Herbert Marshall as the man called X. Wherever there is mystery, intrigue, romance, in all the strange and dangerous places of the world, there you will find the man called X. It's Frankie Carl at the keyboard, playing one of a medley of hits from his new RCA Victor album, Cocktail Time. In this exciting new album, you'll find 16 of Irving Berlin's best, a selection of songs that are among the greatest hits of the last 30 years. Ask for your album copy of Frankie Carl's Cocktail Time at your record dealers. Listen to it. You'll hear the smooth, danceable Carl flavor as he ripples through such romantic melodies as How Deep Is the Ocean, Say It Isn't So, All Alone, and many more Irving Berlin favorites. Yes, here, Frankie Carl's Cocktail Time, a brand new album release by RCA Victor. <laughs> Under the blazing rays of the equatorial sun, a new nation has been born, the fledgling Republic of Indonesia. Proud and strong, the young nation faces its future with confidence and hope, a confidence and hope shared by the man who leaves the government building at Padang, Sumatra. Not a chance, Chief. I just got word of it here in Singapore. He was Jim Martin, all right. Another American oil man. The third one killed in the Republic of Indonesia in the past two months. That's right. And this time it was out-and-out murder. No accident. What's going on there, Ken? Any ideas? Chief, do you remember the Darrell Makeda? Darrell Makeda. Oh, that World of Freedom outfit. Yeah. Sure. They were collaborationists during the war, working with the Japs. Well, they're at it again, being very patriotic about it. They want all foreigners driven out of Indonesia. And they want all, all of her oil to be nationalized. Oh, it begins to sound familiar, Ken. Ten years ago, it was the Japs who wanted Asia for the Asiatics. Now... Yeah. That nationalizing of oil gag makes a fine excuse to overthrow a government that's working with the Western democracies. Yeah. Wait a minute. Isn't Jim Martin's company drilling test wells in undeveloped country in the north of Sumatra? That's right. They're taking all the risk and only asking for a royalty if they manage to tap a new field. That's why the Darrell Makeda will do anything to stop those wells from coming in. Ah. How do we keep him from getting away with it, Ken? I've already got my tickets, Chief. For Padang, Sumatra. That looks like oil derrick rigging you're unloading. They ain't sewing machine parts, Mac. You must be Brad Kelly. What makes you think so? They told me up at the office that I'd find you down here, loading equipment for the test well at Akeen. Who are you, Mac? My name's Ken Thurston. That don't mean nothing to me. What's your racket? Come on, spill it. I want to know what you can tell me about Jim Martin's murder. Oh, I get it. A company snoop. Well, you better steer clear, Mac. Why? Because Brad Kelly's telling you to, that's why. This outfit's paying me to drill a test well up at Akeen. I got trouble enough without trying to play copper. 
Sounds like you don't care who killed Martin. All I care about is my job. The dough I'm going to get for bringing in a well, you savvy? Sure. Just like it was back in 39, isn't it, Kelly? 39? Yep. The year the Russian oil fields at Baku were being modernized. What does that mean? They hired some outside help to do the job. One of them was an American oil super by the name of Brad Kelly, remember? <laughs> Again. Hello, Mr. Thurston. All right, Pago, how much do you want? Exactly $163.29. <laughs> how do you know it was I wanted money? What else? And please, Mr. X, besides, you owe it to me. I what? Sure. Uh, it was pretty expensive for me to follow you here from Singapore, and I couldn't charter the aeroplane for peanuts, you understand. What aeroplane? Why, the one that's going to fly us to Mr. Kelly's oil well near Achin, Natch. Uh? Thurston, the man who wants me to fly him to the oil fields at Akin. That's right, Miss Doran. What's your reason for flying up there? Do you always ask your passengers leading questions? That's rugged country. The natives are pretty rugged, too. Traveling up there can be dangerous for a man. But not for a woman, eh? Thurston, I'll do almost anything to make a dollar. <laughs> what makes you think I wouldn't? It might be a good answer for Zellschmidt, but not for the man called X. Ah. Ah. Pagon didn't waste much time, did you, Frederica? Talks pretty freely for ten bucks. Was it worth it to you? Yes. I like to know all about the people I'm flying. Just uh, idle curiosity? No. The Darrell Makeda. Mm -hmm. What's their connection with you? None, so far. That's the way I want to keep it. Mm -hmm. You're not satisfied? Should I be? You'd be a fool to fly with me if you weren't. Well? Okay, Frederica, let's go. gentlemen, the Akin oil fields. Hey, somebody beat us up here. That red plane on the strip? Sure. Belongs to that oil man who is the boss around here. Brad Kelly? That's the joker, yeah. Him and me are the oldest and dearest of friends. No wonder it didn't cost him anything to learn that I was the man called X. Are you kidding? It cost him exactly ten bucks. Oh. That's what I thought. Looks like ten dollars is paid on standard fee for treason, Ken. Treason? Now, what kind of talk is that? I was only trying to see that nothing happens to this oil well. I was only trying to... Yeah. Ken. Yeah. Looks like you got here a little late, Pago. It's already happened. That rigging, look at it. Another 24 hour shutdown. You know, because some lousy. I believe you are forgetting something that is more important, Mr. Kelly. Yes, yeah, Sungo, like what? The fact that three men were killed in the nitroglycerin explosion. What the devil do I care how many lazy natives get their heads blown off? It was their own blasted carelessness. Was it, Mr. Kelly? Or was it the Darul Makeda? Now, look, Sungo, for the last time, I'm telling you to knock off that guff about the Darul Makeda. I don't want to hear it anymore. You get me? Knock it off. Why? You afraid there's some truth in it? Thurston, what the devil are you doing here? We didn't settle anything about Jim Martin's murder at our last meeting, Kelly. Maybe that's the way I want it. And what I said before still goes. Stay clear of me. So Brad Kelly's blowing off steam again, Sunga. So it would appear, Frederica. But someday he will not find his safety valve in words. And then will come the explosion. But we forget our manners. I do not believe this gentleman and I have met. My name's Ken Thurston. And I am Sunga Tabara, Mr. Thurston. Allow me to welcome you to Akin. Thanks, Mr. Tabaran. Sunga's an oil geologist, Ken. Oh, working for Kelly? Uh, the Indonesian government has assigned me to aid companies such as this in whatever way that I can. It must be a pretty rugged assignment, what with Kelly and the explosions, the 
Daryl Makeda? Oh, you overheard that. What makes you think they might be behind this nitro explosion? It was so predicted, Mr. Thurston, by Negara. Negara? Yes, a girl who gives dance plays with Wayang. But uh, perhaps you are not uh, familiar with Wayang. Yeah, they're puppets, aren't they? Used in shadow plays to tell stories about the past. And about the future, Mr. Thurston. The more superstitious of my people believe that anything the puppets say will come true, even if my people themselves must help bring that truth to realization. You mean they really believe that nonsense? Uh, Megara's Wayang made two predictions at her shadow dance last night. Both came true today. What were they, Songa? They said that smoke and fire would cover the great iron tower and stop its beating heart. The nitro explosion. And the other prediction? That a great bird of the skies would land here today, carrying with it a devil god. A devil god who would be known by the symbol X. <laughs> Hey, I don't get it, Mr. X. What's all this yakety yak about devil gods and dances and, and Daryl Marquetas? What's all that got to do with drilling oil wells? That's what we had to find out, Peg, huh? But why monkey around with all this mishmash if you want to know who's throwing wrenches into the oil wells? <laughs> Just ask me. You've got it all figured out. Sure. It's that Sunga Tabara. Very interesting. It's got to be him. Why? That's besides the point. Anyways, if it's not him, it's... Is that Kelly Joker? Or, or, or that gorgeous geranium Frederica? It's a cinch. I don't know how I could ever get along without you, Pagan. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, but someday I'd like to have a try. Uh -huh. Here's our tent. Let's go in. Well. Huh? What's so well about... Uh, well. Greetings, great one. I bid you welcome... In the name of the holy triad of Brahma, Vishnu, and Shiva. Oh, thanks, baby. We, uh, mm, who? You must be Nagara. That is so, great one. High priestess of the Wayang. And you are the devil gods who have come to battle those whose selfish interests bring only destruction. What makes you think we're here for that reason, Nagara? It has been so predicted by the Wayang, Great One. And whatever is said by the Wayang comes to pass. Have they told you who these uh, selfish interests are? It is to be told tonight. At a shadow play in the jungle to the north. Be there and you will see and hear for yourself. Until then... Safe one. <laughs> sure, baby. Good. Bye. Oh, hmm. Boy, what a screwless character, hey, Mr. X? I doubt it. But here, yeah. on this cot. Hey, what do you know? It's a Charlie McCarthy. It's a Wyang. A shadow puppet that tells the future. It is? Hey, that things look like you. That's right. Then what's, what is it doing with that... With that... Oh, oh Mr. X. Yeah. The hilt of a dagger, Pagan. Sticking out of his chest. We will continue with the man called X in just a moment. And now, here's Bing Crosby with a word about vacations. Oh, Ken, when you mention vacations, it brings a tear to me eye and a lump in my throat. Poor Uncle Herbert. Well, what happened to your Uncle Herbert? Uncle Herbert loves to fish. So on his vacation, he hired himself off all alone to a secluded spot way back in the woods. Poor Uncle Herbert. He uh, forgot his fishing pole? He forgot his Chesterfield. Oh. So, friends, take a tip from me. Whether you're packing to take off for the weekend or for that long-anticipated vacation, pack a couple of cartons of those milder Chesterfields. 
When you take off on a trip like that, you, you like to go where you want and do what you want. So take along the cigarette that gives you what you want. Chesterfield. Chesterfield gives you its famous ABCs. Always milder, better tasting, cooler smoking. Plus, no unpleasant aftertaste. Yep, the country's first and only cigarette taste panel reported. Of all brands tested, only Chesterfield leaves no unpleasant aftertaste. Vacation time, anytime. Take Chesterfields with you. Now, Act Two of The Man Called X, starring Herbert Marshall with Leon Velasco as Pagan Zellschmidt. The Man Called X believes that the Daryl Mercader, a subversive organization, is planning to overthrow the Indonesian government under the smokescreen of a cry for nationalization of oil. He's in the wild northern country of Akin, where the success or failure of a test well being drilled by American interests might determine the success or failure of the Daryl Mercader's plans. What kind of a sucker are you anyway, Sunga? There's no oil here. If you can sell Kelly on the idea of drilling further north on my land, we can all get rich. I'm afraid, my dear Frederica, that the welfare of Indonesia is a bit more important in my estimation than your personal gain. Okay, okay. Wave a flag if you want to. But nobody gets anything if you don't hit oil here, and you're not going to. You sound pretty sure of that, Frederica. I am sure. Kelly's drilled way below the limit of the other wells on Sumatra. And if that's not enough, ask Sunga what the test borings show. What do they show? Actually, very little upon which to base an opinion, Mr. Thurston. We must drill for many more weeks before anything definite can be known. By that time, my options will be up. I've got to start drilling on that land before then, or I can't hold the leases. Sounds like Sunga was right. You're more interested in making a dollar than in what happens to Indonesia. Sure I am. Why not? Nobody gives you anything for nothing in this world. Well, maybe we shouldn't expect it, Frederica. All right, Ken. Preach your fancy little homilies. Let Sunga wave his flag. Won't do you or Indonesia any good. You'll never strike oil here. I still want to know why you're so sure. Two words, Ken. Darul Makeda. I don't get it, Mr. X. The oil well isn't working after the explosion, so why do we have to visit it at this time of night? It's a perfect time for the Daro Makeda to make a move. Huh? Easy now. We're almost there. Huh. See? The joint's empty. <laughs> Any bets? <laughs> Where did that come from? Somebody working in the rigging. Oh, that's crazy. What could anyone be doing out here in this dark? They could be loosening the drill so it'll fall down the bore. They could? It would be weeks, maybe months of fishing for it before they could drill again. Plenty of time to start it. Oh, and finish the revolution. Come on. You die, never die! You die! You die, never die! Okay. die. All right, Pagan, you can come out from behind that barrel now. I was only going to, going to... Boy, look at that knife in his hand. Oh, you shot him just in time. I didn't shoot him. You didn't? But, but... Thanks, Nagara. Nagara? I had a presentment that the Daryl Makeda might strike tonight. It looks like you were right. Good going. Hey, what gives with this cookie? She don't talk screwy like she did before. I told you that was only an act, Pagan. But she's the one who... Who brought the puppets to the tent? The one dressed like you, you with the knife stuck in him. No, it was not I who brought the wiring there. I found it when I came to the tent to talk with you. Huh? It puzzled me because it's apparent we're both fighting the same enemy. The Daryl Makeda. Then you know they're trying to destroy this well. Of course. Just as they're attempting to destroy all Indonesia. Huh? But we'll have to discuss it some other time. Your friends heard the shots. Yeah. When, Degara? Where? I'll let you know. In the meantime, be on guard. Boy, what a luscious lollipop, huh? And plenty handy with that gun. I wonder. Are you kidding? In that dark, with everybody moving, she picks off that guy with a knife just like that. What if she missed Pagan? Huh? She might have been shooting at me. <laughs> I 
Suppose you're waiting for me to thank you for last night, Thurston, huh? The rig is operating again, Kelly. That satisfies me. Good thing, too. I'd hate to hang for as long as it's going to take me to thank any stooge the company's put on my tail. Just stay out of my hair while I'm on this job. Hmm. Ungrateful cuss, isn't he? Well. He's not alone. You won't get any thanks from me either. I didn't think so. Oh, why not? If that drill had fallen, the company might have given up this well. Then you'd have had a chance to sell them on drilling your property. Why should I go to those lengths when I got an inside track? Sunga Tabaran? He made another test boring today. From the look on his face, it wasn't too encouraging. That right, Sunga? He's what's right, Frederick? The test boring, no good, was it? No. No, I'm afraid that it was not. No trace of oil bearing sand or shale? None, Mr. Thurston. Uh. I am almost convinced I should recommend another site for a test well. And little Frederica's got just the land for it, hasn't she, darling? I hate to disappoint you, Frederica, but the answer is no. What? There is much more promising land, geologically, to the northeast of Akin. What kind of dirty double cross is that? After what you promised me. I promise you nothing, Frederica. Don't give me that. If there's another test, well, it's going to be on my land. Kind of a theoretical argument right now, isn't it, Frederica? Not on your life. There's nothing theoretical about... Hey, wait a minute. What's going on at the well? The drilling has stopped. That excitement. Ken, that must mean that there's... That's right, Frederica. The well's come in. They've hit oil. You know something, Mr. X? I'm getting tired of wandering around this oil well in the middle of the night. Why are we wasting time here now? Because Brad Kelly is not in his tent. So what? So I want to see what he's doing in the tool house. Hey, that's right. There's a light burning inside there. <laughs> I wonder what's cooking. Let's go in and find out. Huh. How do you like that? Joint's empty. Kelly's not here. Take another look, Pagan. Behind the desk. Behind the... <gasps> Mr. X. Yeah. But... Uh, but who would want to bump off Kelly? That Darwin Marquette Alpha? Would you like to answer that, Sunga? Sunga? I do not mind, Mr. Thurston. Hey, reporting the thing at me. Tell me, how much did you learn during that telephone call you made? Enough. You're not an official representative of the Indonesian Republic, and you've got your own leases on oil lands northeast of Akin. A rather complete but hardly incriminating dossier. I wonder if the Darrell Makeda would agree with you. What do you mean? You were being paid to stir up revolution in Indonesia. What you were really after was to steer the test well to your own property, to cash in both ways. I don't think your bosses would like that kind of double cross. I'll spare you the trouble of telling them. By locking you in this tool house, when the burning oil from the well strikes it, you'll be in no condition to talk to anyone. Burning oil? But that well is not on fire. You're quite true, Mr. Zellschmidt. But 15 seconds after I leave here, it will be. Good night, my friend. Good night. Mr. Rex, he means it. We're going to burn in here. Burn to little pieces. Uh. It's no good. We couldn't break down the door with a crowbar if we had a crowbar. Ooh, ooh. Maybe we won't need one. Stand back. Uh, I think that did it. Come on, let's try it. Huh? Try what? The door, you idiot. I fired at the lock. Come on. Mr. X, you did it. You saved me. That no good sanga didn't get away with a thing. Didn't he, Pagan? Giving it to me straight, Zelschmidt? 
sure. Uh, it's just like I told you, Miss Dorn. He shoved me away from the tool house and ran inside saying he still had work to do. Oh, oh, poor Mr. X. Poor Mr. X is right. That uh, tool house is a cinder. It looks like your friend lost all the way around, including his life. Oh, oh don't say things like that. There's no other way to say it. Look at those flames. They... See the fire. Huh? It's going out. Huh? Yeah, 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 you're right. It, it is going out. Oh, it's gone. But... But what happened? There's the answer, Zelschmidt, coming toward us in the fire suit. He's taking off the helmet now. Huh? It's him. How was the first? So that's the reason he went back into the tool house, to get the suit and the carbon tent equipment. <laughs> you bet, yeah. Well, well, looks like we cleaned up another one, eh, Mr. Rex? Oh, uh, not quite, pig, huh? huh? But the well's okay again. Yeah, but there's still Sunga to Baran. Oh, that's right. I'm not so sure you had to worry about him, Ken. What do you mean? I ran into the native girl, Negara, just before this shindig started. She brought something for you. Here. Mean anything to you? Hey, it's another one of those puppet things. Yeah, a Wayang. Dressed just like Sunga was the last time we saw him. That's right. It is. It could be his twin brother, except that it hasn't got a... Hasn't got a... <gasps> Mr. Rex. That's right, Pagan. It hasn't got a head. Our star, Mr. Herbert Marshall, will return in just a moment. If you suffer from the pains of headache, neuritis, or neuralgia, you should discover what many thousands have known for years, that Anison brings incredibly fast, effective relief. Anison is like a doctor's prescription. That is, Anison contains not just one, but a combination of medically proven active ingredients in easy-to-take tablet form. Probably at some time you've received an envelope containing Anison tablets from your physician or dentist. Thousands of people have been introduced to Anison this way. Try Anison yourself the next time you suffer from the pains of a headache, neuritis, or neuralgia. You'll be delighted at how quickly relief can come. Anison is spelled A-N-A-C-I-N. Your druggist has Anison in handy boxes of 12 and 30 tablets and economical family-sized bottles of 50 and 100 for your medicine cabinet. Ask for Anison today. <laughs> Here again is our star, Mr. Herbert Marshall. Thanks for being with us. And my thanks to D.J. Thompson, Peggy Weber, Will Wright, Gerald Moore, and Hans Conried. Next week, Ken gets an invitation to Lyon in France. An invitation to a murder. That's right. And helpful, as always, will be... Correction. Uh, Leon Belasque will be there, of course, as Pagan Zellschmidt. Hello, Leon. So join us, won't you, when next I return... As the man called it. Good night. The Man Called X, starring Herbert Marshall, is the Friday night feature on NBC's five-show festival of comedy, music, mystery, and drama. Brought to you by RCA Victor, world leader in radio, first in recorded music, first in television. And by Chesterfield, always milder, better tasting, cooler smoking, plus no unpleasant aftertaste. And by the makers of Anison for fast relief from pain of headache, neuritis, neuralgia. The Man Called X is a J. Richard Kennedy production with music by Milton Charles. Tonight's story was written by Sidney Marshall. All characters and incidents on this program are fictitious, and any resemblance to actual characters or incidents is purely coincidental. Be sure to hear The Magnificent Montague with Monty Woolley, formerly heard on Friday, now brought to you as a Saturday night feature of NBC's All-Star Festival. And until next week, this is Jack Latham saying good night for The Man Called X. Next, join Roy Shield. Sunday, it's the symphony on NBC. NBC.